Imagine a world where your coffee costs a small fortune, not because of fancy beans, but because the price of Bitcoin has skyrocketed to the moon, making millionaires out of the folks who used to pay for their lattes with spare change. Yes, you heard it right. We're venturing into the realm where Bitcoin could hit the jaw-dropping price of $1 million by 2024. I mean, why not? In a world where memes can dictate stock prices and people buy virtual cats for the price of a real car, a million-dollar Bitcoin doesn't seem that far-fetched, does it? Samson Mo, a titan in the Bitcoin arena, and a man whose bullish stance on Bitcoin makes the Wall Street bull look like a timid calf, is placing his bets on a seismic shift in the crypto landscape. He's talking about an event so monumental, it's dubbed the Omega Candle. Think of it as the God Candle's big, bad, older sibling that decided to hit the gym. A single day where Bitcoin could leap by $100,000. No, it's not the plot of a sci-fi novel, but a prediction from a man who believes that when it comes to Bitcoin, the sky, or should I say the moon, is the limit. Welcome to Crypto Dominion, the go-to spot for crypto enthusiasts and humor lovers alike. I'm Alison, ready to navigate the twists of cryptocurrency with the energy of a zero-gravity squirrel. Looking for laughs and crypto insights? You're in the right place. Smash that subscribe button like it's the last slice of pizza and join our adventure. We deliver fresh content faster than a caffeine rush, with a side of a chance to win a sleek MacBook, just for engaging with us. More details on that at the end. Dive into the crypto world where the laughs are as frequent as the market swings. Stick with us for a journey through digital dollars and humour. Let's start the fun. The Bullish Forecast Let's embark on a journey to the future, where our tour guide is none other than Samson Mo, a veritable sage in the realm of Bitcoin. Picture this. The year is 2024, and Bitcoin is the new king of the hill. Not just any hill, but Mount Everest, with a valuation of 1 million per shiny digital coin. Sounds like a plot twist in a finance-themed fairy tale, doesn't it? But according to Mo, this isn't just a pipe dream. It's a forecast grounded in the swirling maelstrom of macroeconomic trends and cutting-edge tech. Imagine the global economy as a colossal, somewhat cranky machine that's been through the ringer. Pandemics, inflation, you name it. In this chaotic landscape, Bitcoin emerges as the superhero we didn't know we needed. Mo isn't just making wild guesses, he's observing the winds of change, the kind that could propel Bitcoin to the moon, figuratively speaking, but who knows with Elon Musk in the picture. Mo throws around the term macroeconomic situation like it's confetti at a parade. But what does that mean for you and me? Essentially, it's the big picture of economics. Think global supply and demand, monetary policies, and how governments are more addicted to printing money than most of us are to caffeine. In this grand dance, Bitcoin stands out as the bell of the ball, unaffected by the whims of central banks and printing presses, making it a beacon of stability in stormy seas. The Omega Candle and Supply Shock Now let's delve into the realm of the Omega Candle. No, it's not the latest scent from Yankee Candle, but something far more explosive. Picture a regular candle, then imagine one so big and bright that it makes the sun look like a dim light bulb. That's the Omega Candle in the Bitcoin world, a single day where Bitcoin's price skyrockets by $100,000. It's like watching a financial rocket take off, except there's no NASA control room filled with people clapping. This astronomical leap isn't just wishful thinking, it's grounded in a phenomenon known as a supply shock. Imagine you're at a concert and there's only one food stand selling the world's most delicious fries. Suddenly, everyone wants a taste, but there's just not enough to go around. Prices soar and those fries become worth their weight in gold. In the Bitcoin universe, this scenario unfolds when there's a sudden decrease in supply thanks to events like the halving, where the reward for mining new bitcoins is cut in half, making them rarer than a polite comment on social media. Samson Mo, with the enthusiasm of a prophet, predicts this supply shock is on the horizon, and when it hits, it'll be like nothing we've ever seen. It's not just about the scarcity, it's about the surge in demand from big players, think ETFs and nation states, all clamoring to get a piece of the bitcoin pie. The result? A price surge so monumental it catapults Bitcoin into the stratosphere, marking the dawn of the Omega Candle era. In this thrilling narrative of Bitcoin's journey to $1 million, Mo stands as the visionary, 
seeing beyond the peaks and troughs of the market to a future where Bitcoin reigns supreme. It's a story of resilience, innovation, and the undeniable allure of a digital currency that's captivated the imagination of investors, dreamers, and skeptics alike. National adoption and ETF influence. Imagine a world where countries don't just hoard gold in their vaults but stack Bitcoin alongside. This isn't a plot from a cyberpunk novel. It's a future that Samson Moe envisions, where Bitcoin isn't just a digital asset for the tech savvy, but a cornerstone of national economies. Moe, in his discussions with Bram Kanstein, paints a picture of a world where Bitcoin is the new black gold and countries are lining up to get their share. Let's concoct a hypothetical scenario. The small fictional country of Kryptonia decides to adopt Bitcoin as part of its national reserve. Overnight, Kryptonia becomes the talk of the global stage, not just for its bold move, but because its economy starts to resemble a rocket ship rather than the stable, plodding economies of its neighbours. Why? Because in this digital age, being the first to adopt revolutionary technologies like Bitcoin can catapult a nation from obscurity to spotlight faster than you can say blockchain. But what really turns the tide in favour of Bitcoin's national adoption? ETFs, or exchange-traded funds. These financial instruments are like the cool kids on the block, making Bitcoin not just accessible but downright respectable among the financial elite. When the US Securities and Exchange Commission nods in approval at several spot Bitcoin ETFs, it's akin to the largest asset manager on the planet throwing a lavish party and declaring Bitcoin the guest of honour. Suddenly, the narrative shifts from Bitcoin is for outlaws to Bitcoin is our future, all thanks to the legitimising power of ETFs. The Veblen effect and Bitcoin's luxury appeal. Now, let's dive into the glittering world of the Veblen effect, where the pricier the tag, the more desirable the commodity. Bitcoin, in this narrative, isn't just a currency or an investment. It's a status symbol, the digital equivalent of a luxury sports car or a limited edition watch. As Bitcoin's price climbs higher, it doesn't just attract investors, it lures those seeking not just wealth, but prestige. Imagine walking into a party and casually mentioning you bought Bitcoin when it was just a few thousand dollars. That's not just a financial flex, it's social currency, the kind that's priceless in today's world. The Veblen effect ensures that as Bitcoin's value skyrockets, so does its allure, turning it into a luxury asset that's coveted not for its utility alone, but for the prestige it confers upon its holders. This phenomenon isn't just theoretical. When Bitcoin's price dips, the naysayers are quick to dismiss it as a passing fad. But as its value ascends, suddenly, everyone wants a piece of the pie. It's the same psychology that drives the demand for high-end brands. As Mo points out, the higher Bitcoin climbs, the more it's perceived as a must-have, not because everyone understands it, but because owning it says something about you. It's the digital age's answer to wearing a Rolex, only this time, the investment could potentially turn into a fortune. Market dynamics and future predictions. As we navigate the ever-twisting labyrinth of the cryptocurrency market, it's clear that we're not in Kansas anymore. The landscape is shifting beneath our feet, with regulatory winds blowing and the decentralized finance DeFi revolution picking up steam. Amidst this whirlwind, Bitcoin stands as a beacon, or as Franklin B of Panta Capital puts it, poised to capitalize on a $500 billion bonanza in the DeFi sector. Franklin's not just throwing numbers around for the fun of it, he's pinpointing the seismic shifts that could catapult Bitcoin from today's digital darling to tomorrow's financial foundation. But let's not put on our rose-colored glasses just yet. The road to riches is never without its potholes. Regulatory changes loom large on the horizon, like a storm cloud threatening to rain on Bitcoin's parade. The former US President Donald Trump, in a surprising twist, hinted at a grudging acceptance of Bitcoin's role in the financial system, suggesting that regulation, while inevitable, might not spell doom and gloom for the crypto world. It's a bit like your skeptical uncle finally admitting that your internet money might have some merit, albeit begrudgingly and with a side of regulatory oversight. The influence of DeFi on Bitcoin's valuation cannot be overstated. As Franklin B eloquently notes, we're on the cusp of a breakthrough moment for DeFi on Bitcoin, 
a testament to the growing realization that Bitcoin could serve as the bedrock for a new financial ecosystem. This isn't just about creating wealth, it's about reshaping how we think about money, investments and financial services. Imagine a world where financial transactions are as seamless and transparent as sending an email, all thanks to the underlying technology of Bitcoin and the burgeoning field of DeFi. The wrap-up. In this brave new world, Bitcoin's valuation could soar to heights previously deemed fanciful, driven by its adoption in DeFi and a growing acceptance among regulators and traditional financial institutions. It's a future where Bitcoin isn't just a speculative asset, but a cornerstone of a decentralized financial system. So, as we peer into the crystal ball, the future of Bitcoin and the broader cryptocurrency market appears as a tapestry woven with threads of innovation, regulatory challenges, and the promise of DeFi. It's a future ripe with potential, teetering on the edge of transformative change. Strap in, folks. The journey is just beginning. Hey, adventurers. Before you hit the digital road, check out our giveaway, a cutting-edge MacBook. Want in? Just help us reach 50,000 subscribers. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, and drop a creative comment to enter. The more you comment, the better your chances. It's that simple. Don't forget to ring the notification bell for all the updates. Ready for some magic? Your future MacBook could be just a like, subscribe, and comment away. Let's do this. Before you dive back into the real world, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more mind-bending content. Got thoughts on Bitcoin's moonshot or the Omega candle? Are you buying a ticket to Mars with your crypto gains? Or are you skeptical about this digital gold rush? Drop your insights, predictions or witty retorts down in the comments. And, if you're so into crypto that you've started dreaming and decentralized, don't miss our treasure trove of videos. Thanks for exploring the crypto universe with us. Stick around, we'll be back faster than a blockchain confirmation during low network congestion. Stay tuned. And remember, in this channel, we don't just share crypto wisdom, we mine laughs too.